<laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Don't take anything personal. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 32, NASDAQ off 2, SPs down 5, gold contract up $12.90, trading at 1,268 an ounce. Silver down 7 cents, $17.25 an ounce. Platinum. Up two and a half bucks at 9.46 an ounce. P Copper up a penny and a half at 2.59 a pound. Light sweet crude flat, 49 dollars and four cents a barrel. Notes, 10 year note up one tick, 125.22. 30 year bond up seven ticks, 152.30. Now both notes and bonds, folks, all week long rejected lower price, had lighter volume. Bottom line, now what you have, you have the daily, weekly, monthly of all the rejections. They want higher price, lower yields. Pretty wild. King dollar. King dollar down 60 ticks at 98.980. Now, King dollar, all week long, tried to get to higher price. Had volume behind the move. Bottom line, kept getting sold off. What does have King dollar? King dollar now has a lower swing low on the daily, on the weekly, on the monthly, with volume. King Doll's building cars, not only to basically get under this 98 area, it looks to me like King Doll is building cars to get down to 91. When we broke out a few months ago at, well, we broke out in November, we, well, we got over the 100.600 mark, which had been consolidating for a year. Guess what? Can't bust them up. It failed. You go downtown, and as we went downtown, you went downtown with Wide price spread and volume. Next five, six, seven months, King Doll is making its way down to the bottom of this consolidation, which is 91. The euro is trading at 108 to the US dollar. The yen is at 111.5 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you get a sideways move in the market today. The SPY is at 238.20. Um, the number to keep your eye on here is, I believe it's 230. Yes, yeah, you're going to love this. So it's 238.37. You know, you, we close be, be below 238.37. You basically get a failure on the weekly. You know, what does that mean? It, doesn't mean a whole, well, it means that, yes, now you can go after the lower end of this, which is 231, which is a big deal. What you don't have, and we do these monthlies out here right now, um, the monthly bottom line, you know, it's, it's not bad. You know, the monthly, we've done two, 364 million. You're going at the 454. The bottom of that monthly is 236 in, in March. So we are not going to close below 236. So you don't have a, real, a signal in the monthly. In the daily, you do have a signal uh, if it closes under that uh, 238.37, which we're under now, is saying, okay, next week you can, you can pull back down into the lower end of this consolidation. So the, the S&P is still in this consolidation that it's been in since March 1st. Dow Industrial is the same type of setup. Dow Industrials also can't get, basically handle this price. Now, what's going to be cool about watching the Dow is that the benchmark on the Dow is 20,957. Now, we're below it right now. We've been back and forth all day long. can be above it pretty quickly because we're 20,949. But if you close below it, guess what? That sets up that you can get back down to 20,412, and we'll see whether we get any volume if, in fact, we close there next week. What we do have is that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're still in window dressing. Wednesday, it starts uh, peeling off. But uh, May Day's Monday, folks. Bottom line, we're in window dressing today. Uh, huge amount of earnings came out, of course. Uh, NDX 100. What do we have the NDX 100? NDX 100 and the composite there, they get a lot more. Uh, they'd have to come down a lot more in order to have a failure. Bottom line is that they both are at highs. 
They're in like a light volume, but guess what? They're in highs and they can go higher. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract, folks, rejected lower price all week, has light volume. Gold contracts at 1269. This gold contract looks to me like it's setting up to go make the run. The run we're talking about, number one, is not just for the 1297. I'm expecting we're going to make that run up to the 1319 mark. Gold is still in a con confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Your price projection is 1307. Your next swing point up here is 1319. The GDX, uh, same type of setup. It's getting a bid out here today. Uh, GDX is at $22.33. You're, you're up a half a dollar. Not, that's, that's not a lot. What we do have on the weekly, however, is this. Is that uh, the weekly, we're going to do uh, about $400 million. You're coming into $394 million. You're coming into $444 million. And thus far, it's rejected that low. And the bigger low that it's rejected is $636 million, which was the downdraft of November. That, that's the first time that we came down. This is the consolidation that we've been in since November. That's when the GDX went from 25 to 20. It had 636 million shares traded, got back up to 25, couldn't handle it, came back down with 444 million. We got back up to 24 this week. It came back, well, it's 384 right now. I'm figuring maybe, maybe we'll push 20 million at the close. Bottom line, as you can see, what you, you, you do have higher highs right now um, from the low that was established out here on the 22nd. I expect we're going to make that run once again up to that 25 mark. Silver, what do we have with the silver market? Silver right here is trading at a price point of 17.26. Uh, bottom line, silver needs to catch a bid. Uh, silver, we, we definitely have divergence between the silver and gold market right now. Silver uh, is still weaker. Um, the signal out here is not bad right now. You, you know, we'll see whether it can get any juice coming this next Monday and Tuesday. Now, notes and bonds continue to say that, number one, they reject lower price. Number two, they want higher price, lower yield. And, you know, they broke out of that consolidation, four-month consolidation. They want higher price. And just maybe it's all about we have an economy right now. The GDP come out at seven-tenths of one percent. And they were looking for... 2%, folks. Bottom line, economy's getting weaker, not stronger. You stay right there. We're going to be coming right back.